I'm here to show you Apple shortcuts that everybody needs to know. The ultimate keyboard shortcut is not typing at all. Just double tap this function key in the corner and start talking and it records everything that you're speaking. A hidden feature I really like are all of the screenshot functions. So to take a screenshot of your entire screen, you can click Command Shift 3. To pick a shot to screenshot, it's Command Shift 4 and highlight. And to screenshot video is Command Shift 5 and it opens up a little menu at the bottom of all of your options. Let's dig into Finder. No matter how you use your Mac, you're gonna go way faster with these Finder shortcuts. You can always access Finder by hitting Command Tab and just keep hitting Tab until you reach Finder. To create a new window, it's Command N. Now I wanna make a new folder, so that's Command Shift N. Okay. Now we can go into our folder by double clicking now I'm going to make another folder, one, and to be able to go back to the folder that contained this folder, it's command up. You can quickly delete a folder by clicking command delete and empty out your trash by clicking command shift delete. If you want to open any app or file, all you have to do is click command spacebar and type it in. And to quickly hide any app, you click Command H. This final tip is going to be extremely useful for music producers. The default music player on your Mac is iTunes, and I prefer QuickTime because it's a lot quicker to navigate. A shortcut to get info on any MP3 is by clicking your MP3 and clicking Command I. Now that we have our info open, we're going to come down here and change Apple Music to QuickTime. And then we're going to click Change All. My final tip is the quickest way to play or open any file, and that's by simply clicking the space bar. Move your body, girl. So there you have it. Those are all my favorite shortcuts on my Mac computer. I hope that helps you guys. See you next time.